Merman's device, or Merman's machine, is a thought experiment in physics designed to illustrate the non-classical features of nature without directly referencing quantum mechanics. The challenge it presents is to explain its results using only classical physics. A version of Merman's original device consists of three parts, a source that emits two particles and two detectors, A and B. When a button on the source is pushed, it sends one particle to each detector. Each detector has a switch with three settings, labeled 1, 2, and 3, and two light bulbs, a red and a green one. When a particle reaches a detector, either the red or the green light flashes, but never both. The detectors are independent of each other, meaning there are no connections between them or the source, except for the particles themselves. The device operates by setting the switches on both detectors to one of the three positions randomly, resulting in nine equally likely settings for the pair of detectors, e.g. 11, 12, 13. The mysterious part of the experiment lies in the statistical results of the flashes, which cannot be accounted for by classical local realism, where particles have predetermined properties. Merman also proposed an improved version with three particles and three detectors, which demonstrates the same concepts deterministically removing the need for statistical analysis over multiple experiments. Merman's device is a pedagogical tool to introduce the unconventional features of quantum mechanics and is based on a version of Bell's inequality. It is a simplified version of a Gedanken experiment by John Bell and is used to demonstrate the spooky action at a distance that Albert Einstein criticized in quantum mechanics.